I've literally had such a busy week. I've been so excited to film this video and I gotta kinda make a quick, but I'm still very, 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 very excited to film this video. So yeah, let's move on. <laughs> Today, I am going to be filming with this book while well, reviewing, film, whatever, you know, I've had a long week, forgive me. Um, reviewing this book that I've just read. Um, new book is called The If in Life by Rashad Jennings. Um, how to get off life's sidelines and become your best self. I am in love with this book a lot of people said that they are and i um knew i would be um i um am not a big uh sports fan like i'm into like basketball and things like that but i'm not into like um football or anything like that uh but um i did i am into like dancing ironically so i did watch him on dancing with the stars and i did root for him and vote for him all season long so I, I did think he was the best, um, uh, I don't know if you'd say player, um, competitor, whatever you would call, um, of the season, and I am so happy that he won BTW, not like you wouldn't know if you didn't watch the season, but, uh, yeah, I have a lot of similarities in this book that related a lot to me, and I just fell in love with this book, I love it a lot. Um, one of the things, and spoilers, obviously, um, this one I'm going to give spoilers because I just fell in love with it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in my, one of my other videos, but the one I kind of made a little bit short that I wanted to kind of make longer, but I didn't like touch big, uh, touch base and I wanted to be more detailed with, but I wasn't detailed with you guys on, was, uh, my MRSA, which is obviously a infection that was brewing in me. I was in, I actually was in a hyperbaric chamber when, uh, before I actually had one of the big major surgeries to, um, to deal with it and to end it and, um, you know, to, before they had to actually take my femur out and to, um, well, I almost said eliminate, but, um, to get, you know, obviously all the infection out. We tried the hyperbaric chamber for a while, and they said it would take, obviously, a long, long, long time for it to, um, heal processly. It wasn't working as fast as everybody wanted it to, to do. It didn't work, you know, necessarily for me, but I did feel, um, you know, a difference in my body, and that's what Rashad was, um, mentioning in his, um, even though I do go through, do go through, things medically I'm not no doctor no nurse no anything like that so I don't know everything medically obviously a lot of people think I do because I go through a lot of things medically but I don't I'm not no expert obviously there's still some things I learned through reading and learning and going through these experiences that opened my eyes like when I was going through these things medically I didn't know what a wound back was before this makes sense when I have it did I have a degree or go through nursing before? No. So obviously it makes sense I didn't know what it was. That's besides the point I'm getting off traffic or off topic. God, it's been a long week. I cannot even talk. Bear with me. This is going to be probably a little bit longer video than I hoped because I cannot speak today. Anyways, um, he mentioned in his book, a little spoiler, like I said, that, um, he bought a portable hyperbaric chamber and I didn't know that there, there was such a thing but I actually thought it was um quite interesting because I actually did um obviously I went through hyperbaric chamber with a lot of other people but I actually thought um it was pretty cool and it did um I guess it, it did help me, but it didn't help me with the amount of infection that I had at the time because it, it was brewing a lot and I just had it deep in the bone, I guess, and it just didn't help me specifically, like I said. Um, it just didn't help. So 
um, I guess it's good for other people, but it just specifically uh, for me, it just didn't um, help over time. But I did try it for a while, and I, it just didn't work. I, I don't know what else to say with that. Um, yeah, I, I just thought that that was very cool. Um, I mean, I did throw up in there once because um, I drank apple juice. Um, <laughs> I mean, things happen, but um, that wasn't pleasant. But um, I did feel good in there, and... I, li I like the feeling there. So I can really relate to Rashad when he said that he felt good um, doing the hyperbaric chamber. I can, I can really relate to there. And I, when, when he said that, I was like, yes, says somebody that is not, even though he technically wasn't going through anything medical wise, um, I could, you know, feel him on, on that, on that part. And that, that was, that was actually pretty cool. I, I thought that that was actually pretty neat that I could relate to them on that kind of subject, even though he wasn't going through anything medically. So, um, even though obviously Rashad is not, um, listening to this video or watching my review, um, you know, I, I really give him, you know, props for, you know, taking care of his body and, um, going through all, all the things, uh, necessary that he needed to go through to, um, to get in shape and to meet his goals and to get to get to where he needed to be. Um, you know, it takes a lot of dedication, like you said, and a lot of uh, goals and a lot of um, well, goal setting. And you obviously got to pursue your goals. That means actually not being lazy and going to do them, <laughs> but which not a lot of people do. But um, yeah, it's, it's a great book. If you guys can uh, buy it, go buy it. Or like I did, uh, go um put it on hold at your local library and go read it i highly highly recommend um it gets an eight plus to me i don't really know what else to say other than um i love the shot from you know the moment i saw him on dancing with the stars i knew he was he was special i love his book and um there, there's no other good things i can i can say about him um you know he's his passion through everything he does is it's really really good to see we need we need more people like that in the world we really do so um yeah if you you have um time to go and read this i definitely definitely recommend so if you have any other books you want to recommend to me um leave them down below it doesn't have to be about a specific person obviously it could be about anything that uh, you want, uh, leave them down below. I might already be in the works of reading and going to be reviewing them in the future, but leave them down below and maybe they will be in a future review. Um, sorry this was so short and kind of like, you know, a ramble and, you know, in a circle, but um, I just want to make sure to hurry up and get this up because I actually have to return this today. But yes, I'm really excited about the next review I'll be doing too. It was also about another person. I'm not I'm gonna say who it is. But yes, I'm excited about the next one. It should be up shortly. Hopefully it won't take another month to do. But who knows with my busy schedule. I will catch you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to become part of the Spicy Family. I'll see you guys in the next video.